Hello everyone. My name is Won So Jo, a PhD student in Department of Computer and Information Technologies, Purdue University. I'm so excited to introduce our recent researches that is to propose a new wearable biosensor packages on ROST2 for human multilobal interaction systems. This is collaborative researches with the Purdue University and University of California Santa Cruz. Dr. Roberto Wilson and Dr. Steve McGuire's are at UC at Santa Cruz, and Jane Kim, Dr. Byung Chul Min, and I at the Purdue University. With advanced robotics technologies, today is common to meet robot system on daily life, such as robot delivery service. An industrial robot system in manufacturing plant. Nowadays, there are many applications using a multi-robot system in the real world. Furthermore, the many researchers have been studying human multi-robot interactions to easily and effectively collaborate with the human and multi-robot systems. As a result, human multi-robot interaction is becoming a rising field in the robotics area. However, the human operators in the human multilobal interactions HMI system has more emotional and cognitive stress than a single HR system. This is because the human operators has to control or interact a group of robot systems simultaneously. Additionally, the human operators to who interact multilobal system is difficult to maintain consistent performance. Due to the changing the human affective state, such as emotional and cognitive state, the HMI systems not considering the affective state can impair the system performance and lead to mission failure. Therefore, the HMI system should understand the human operator's conditions, and then to utilize the different control ways based on the conditions to increase the system performance and outcomes. During interaction with the human and multilobal systems, many researchers considering human cognitive and emotional state use the biosensors and the vision-based sensors. However, there are still limitations to use the biosensor on HRI researches. Uh, compared to the other research field, for example, affective computing and physiologies. The biosensor ecosystem in HRI is small, so biosensor vendors、uh, in the market rarely provide a framework for loss. Also, the provided or source code by each vendors have a different framework, as well as the format of the output data is different. That means it makes researchers difficult to integrate with other sensor and systems. Of course. There are some open source programs developed by HRI communities, but they also have the same problems. As a result, HRI developers who want to use the biosensors need to understand the data informations and structures, then develop the biosensor programs to connect to the laws. If there are no programs or the open source codes available, the developer has to develop the system from scratch. The process takes a lot of time and effort. The table is a list of off-the-shelf the biosensors. Nowadays, there are many biosensors, but only a few biosensors have support of the Linux environment. Since its initial release in 2008, the ROS has been popular in robotics field, and it has a powerful communities and ecosystems. As well, the many robot platform for researchers adopt the ROS, since the ROS can easily manage multiple programs and integrate the various the existing open source libraries. In in the 2018s, the ROS released a new version called ROS2. The key features in the ROS2 include the support of the real time programming and multilobal systems to overcome the limitation of the ROS1. The limitation in ROS1 was that the the ROS required ideal network settings to communicate with each other's nodes. Since the ROS was initially developed for a single of platforms, however, the ROS2 can be operated in the low quality network environment. 
Also, it enhances the robot security. Another key feature in DROS2 is that the accessibility has been increased via support for additional operating system, especially Windows. Given the real time, the multi component focus of DROS2 and the rise of the biosensor uses in the HR researches, the standardized DROS2 biosensor package is urgently needed. Therefore, so we propose the generalized DROS2 wearable biosensor packages. The nodes in the package follow the generalized structures such as parameters and topping names. The parameter is adjust the biosensor's features. The sensor enable parameter is to activate for connecting the biosensor to those two. The chunk enable parameter is to activate the chunk function of the biosensor node. And the chunk length is to decide the length of the chunk data. The chunk data is the can help a developer using the machine learning algorithms or analyzing data. The topping names follow the generalized structures. The sensor's name is the official the biosensor names, and data names is to present the data types such as PPG or GSR. The proposed package uh, includes six of the shelf the wearable biosensors, which are utilized in various HR researches. The first is Emotive Insight. This is wireless headset to measure five channel EEG signals which is mostly utilized to measure human emotional and cognitive stress. The sampling rate is 40 Hz. The second is Empathica E4 wristband. This is the wristband type of wear of biosensors. This is very similar to current smart watches such as Galaxy Watch and Apple Watch. And it can be measured BVP, GSR, SD, HR, IBI data. The sampling rate 128 Hz. The third is the Polar H10. It is mostly utilized on fitness assistant. That is attached to the chest and to monitor heartbeat. The sampling rate 1 Hz. The fourth is the Seamers the GSR unit, having three electrodes that attach to three fingers. Two electrodes to measure GSR, the other is used for reading PPGs. The sampling rate is 50 Hz. The fifth is the Bonnier Desperation Belt fastened on the ultimate. That biosensor to measure breath per minute and pulse. The sampling rate is 10 Hz. The sixth is Jeffy Bioharness. This is to measure GSR and HR bracelets from the side of the chest. The sampling rate 1 Hz. In this, we uploaded the proposed package on GitHub to share with the public. There are two required software to run these packages, Python 3 and ROS2 Poxy. Then follow our instructions posted on our GitHub pages. In order to give the developer more details, each biosensor folder or nodes have a readme files. Then explain the sensor information, parameters, and how to test it. Here, I would like to present one of the potential applications using the proposed lost package for HMRIs. The framework is a module-based effective adaptive control framework for multi-human, multi-robot interactions. The proposed system has a three modular interface. The first module is the human monitoring interface. This is to estimate the cognitive and emotional state measured by the wear of biosensors. Here our proposed those packages can play important role in this interface. The second module is multi-robot monitoring interface. This is estimate robot conditions based on their hardware spec, such as remaining battery levels internal temperature and communication strength. The third module is a human multi robot framework, where features can be extracted from the measured biosignals and then converted into the performance. Also in this the framework the 
the ROS2 back tools in the ROS2 make easy to record all data, publish it, subscribe topics via ROS2 back tools. The ROS2 back files can simplify the data analysis and management. Furthermore, the ROS2 has the broader accessibilities so the robot simulator can connect to the ROS instead of the real robot platforms. Also, other interfaces such as VR can easily connect to the ROS system. Here is the conclusions. In these papers, we presented a new ROS2 wearable biosensors packages to expand the ecosystem of biosensor in the ROS2. The current version of the package is that has the six commercial wearable biosensors. The biosensor nodes and topics follow the generalized frameworks for easily managing and integrating with a further the biosensor. In the future, we will keep updating these packages to support more wearable biosensors and build dock images to help users easily build those two and our packages on various the machines. And current support for the ROS2 version is the Poxies, but we will update this to support the different ROS2 versions. Purdue and UC at Santa Cruz have been collaborated to make these packages available. And we are looking for more collaborators and contributors to add more wearable biosensors. We expect that this package will be a fundamental resource for HRI researches. If you are interested in this project, please feel free to contact us. I'd like to thank my co-authors for their effort on this project. And also I'd like to thank our sponsors NSF and DARPAS for their support on this project. Thank you so much for paying attention to my presentations. If you have any questions, please let me know or contact me via email.